Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Wavelink Networking USB 2.0 server, model number NU78M41. You'll receive the network server, an AC power adapter with 4 foot long power cord, 40 inch ethernet cable, driver CD, and an instruction manual. The server unit measures 2 inches wide, 2 inches long, and 3 quarter inches tall, and weighs just under 1 ounce. On the front of the unit, there is a full-size USB 2.0 port that supports up to 480 megabits per second transfer speed, and on the back is the AC adapter port and ethernet jack. On top, in the lower right-hand corner is a green power LED, and on the bottom you have some information like the MAC address and serial number. Setting up the unit is pretty simple. First, plug the power adapter into a nearby wall outlet and attach it to the server. Then plug the Ethernet cable into the server and connect it to any available LAN Ethernet port on your router. Finally, plug your printer into the server using its USB connection and power it on. This server supports printers that use LPR network printing and Bonjour print services. I'm connecting my thermal label printer to the server because it doesn't natively support Wi-Fi or network access, and normally I'd have to plug the unit directly into my laptop or computer using the USB cable. With the USB server, I can access the printer wirelessly over my home Wi-Fi network and can print from any device, making it more convenient and accessible. Now, all I need to do is install the print server driver on the device I want to print from, like this Windows 10 laptop that's connected to the same router as the print server over Wi-Fi. The driver for the network server can be found on the included CD-ROM, but these days, not all computers or laptops have CD-ROM drives. If that's the case, you can download the driver from Wavelink's website, and I'll put a link for it in the description below. Once you've extracted the software from the zip file, just double-click Setup to launch the application. Choose the first menu item, Networking Printer Wizard for Windows, and follow the prompts on the screen. Installation is pretty quick and only takes about 10 seconds. When it's finished, you'll want to restart your computer. After you've rebooted, launch the new icon for the Network Print Wizard and follow the prompts. This screen will show you all the available printers connected to the same network as your computer. And here's the default name for my print server. I'll select it and click Next. Now you'll need to choose the driver for your printer that's attached to the print server, so I'll select the brand on the left and the model number of the printer on the right. If you don't know this information, you can try using the generic print driver, but it's worth getting the right drivers to ensure proper operation. After you've confirmed your selections, you can click Finish. And that's pretty much it. Now I can print from this laptop to the printer wirelessly over my network, rather than plugging the printer directly into the computer. So when I need to print something, like this shipping label, I'll make sure the Wavelink print server is selected as the printer. Then click Print. And now the printer will go ahead and print out that shipping label. Perfect. Printers aren't the only devices you can connect to this server. You can attach other peripherals like a USB thumb drive, mobile phone, or even a webcam, and these devices would become accessible over your network. Just be sure to install the USB server driver from the installation application, following the on-screen prompts as you did before. When you launch the networking USB server, now you'll see that my connected device comes up as storage, and it connects to my computer locally, with Windows Explorer popping up as if I plug the USB drive directly into a port on this computer. Devices are hot swappable too, so I can just unplug one device and plug in another, like this external hard drive. You'll see the device has changed, and when I click Connect Device, now the contents of this drive pops up. Just note that devices connected to the server appear as locally connected devices and will not show up under network locations by default, so you'll only be able to access the device or storage from one computer at a time, unless you specifically enable network sharing of that device. Overall, this USB network server was super simple to set up on my home Wi-Fi network and install the drivers in only a few minutes. Now I'm able to access my USB-only printers, storage, and other peripherals over the network from a central location near my router. So it's a great way to easily add networked functionality to devices that don't have this feature built in. 
I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.